David Boland from Racing's Inside Track and I'm joined by Ian McCarthy. How are you, Ian? Good, David, and yourself? Ah, good, thanks. Ian, um, you're eight winners this season. Um, not a bad season, I suppose, in all. Yeah, it's going well enough, happy enough. Um, eight winners and uh, probably less rides than last year, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going well enough. Times are tough, I suppose, for, for lads that don't have a big job in racing at the minute. And uh, yeah, it, I'm, I'm happy enough the way it's going. Um, you've, you've, you're, you say you're freelance now, like, and, and that's going well enough for you, but um, you were involved with Desi Hughes for a long time, but uh, freelance is going well enough for you now. Yeah, I uh, spent seven years with Desi, uh, Desi Hughes. I started out there, I went to the racing academy first, and uh, spent seven great years with Desi and learned an awful lot there. And uh, sadly, when he passed away, I just decided to go freelance. And uh, it has been going well. I have a lot of small trainers standing by me, and uh, yeah, happy enough. And um, it's you have your own bit here then as well on the side then, so that keeps you busy then? Yeah, I started uh, in 2014, I built a barn and uh, started and eventually got a walker up and a lundering and uh, yeah I had a couple of horses of my own that we bred at home and um, yeah it's, it's, it's been going grand and I have a few small owners there and I pre-train and break a couple now so I'm happy with the way it's going but still riding comes first obviously and uh, still keen as ever and uh, ride out most mornings as well. So where where would you be most mornings then? Just uh, different yards, get yourself around. Right out. I probably base myself with Ted Walsh a bit. I have three mornings with Ted, and uh, I have two mornings with Oliver McKiernan, and um, and uh, I'm on the Curra most days as well, and uh, the Fahies and uh, a lot of small trainers um, that I ride work for in school on the Curra for. So I kept busy. And then when you come back here at lunchtime every day, then you've you've a good few to ride out of your own then as well. So. Yeah, I've eight riding out there at the minute now. Um, I've um, horses there for Damien English, and uh, there's one there for William McCreary, and there's one after being broken for Conor O'Dwyer, who went back the other day, and uh, a couple of small owners there. So the, the small lads keep me going as well in, in every way. But uh, yeah, it, it's grand. Um, I have a young lad there, uh, Ronan Short, that rides for Christy Roche, so he comes out at lunch times. And I have Paddy Kennedy there the odd day as well, so we've plenty of help there. So there, I think um, I'm happy with the way it's going, and um, the, like the, I think attention to detail is the utmost in in preparing young horses. So. Yeah, we we have a good crew, and I think the system works okay. That's good, and like you said, racing comes first. Obviously, you're only young still, and you you ride wherever it has to be, and it's all about riding winners. But it's great to to be doing this, and I suppose thinking of the future as well, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, definitely. It's something I thought of a, a, a good few years back. It's something I always wanted to do was be involved with young horses, and even when Desi used to buy his stores at the sales during the summer he'd have 13, 16 stores there and I seen the way young horses were brought on, it was something I always took an interest in um, in the young horses and it's, I, I've always liked to work with them. That's good and tell us a bit about, about the place there that we have that we can see behind you, how many stables have we got in here? Yeah there's 12 boxes in the barn there, as I said I built that in 2014 and the walker came after, uh, it's a 6 horse sword and walker with a full rubber floor in it so and then the lundering is um it's probably there's plenty of size to it and um, there's tarmacadam under with five inches of chrome rubber and nine inches of wash wexford sand with a bit of fibre through it. So look at when I started at the start I wanted to do everything properly and make sure it was done one hundred percent and as you can see the diggers there and I'm in the process uh, of putting in a gallop now at the moment. What sort of gallop are you thinking of putting in now? Uh putting in a sand and fibre gallop so um, probably it, um, it, it, it'll be a great job when I, when I get it done eventually but obviously Rome wasn't built in a day so we'll get there eventually. I see earlier on you were in the field behind you there and you were you were cantering a few horses around and so there's plenty of space and loads of room for you anyway. Yeah I have a field there, there's six acres out there that we can hack around and there's probably three gallops within a five mile radius of us so we can box them. And the you see you have the, the, the small box and, and yeah. the trailer on the back as well. Yeah. That does the job and that gets us to the Cora about 15 minutes from the Cora so we can get to the Cora as well. So, um, yeah. You see there, there's, there's one of your workers there now yeah, heading on home. Yeah, that's him, yeah. So, uh, 
Yeah, no, it, it's grand. It's, I'm, ha I'm happy with the way it's going. And uh, there's plenty of quiet roads there, miles of quiet roads, so we get plenty of road work in as well. That's good. And when do you hope to have the gallop done by? Um, I could probably take 8 to 10 weeks now to get it done, but... Um, yeah, I suppose money, you know, get a few pounds together and uh, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> and what sort of distance are you looking at the gallop to uh, be then? It'll be too far long gallop, so... It'll but it's perfect for what you're wanting to do, though. It's perfect for pre-training when you're so close to the Curra, then it's um, it's only 20 minutes, is it 15, 20 minutes to the Curra, so we can school them over fences, put them through stalls, get them up the old Vic, whatever we need to do. It's, it's a great facility over there, so it's nice to be so close to it. And as well as that with the young horse, obviously having your own facilities is important, but um, travelling them over back and forth to the gallops and to the cur and that is, is a good thing as well for the young horses yeah, too, though, isn't it? it's a great education for them. And as I said about Desi, it's all going back to Desi, but like he, it was something that he used to do the whole time. Remember young horses going to Dunning uh, just to get, the, get away for the day. And it is, it's, it's great to get them into the box and get them used to travelling and that. Cause you pick up horses from, from owners there and you, they take 20 minutes to load and eventually you have them walking up in the box on your own eventually, you know, but yeah, that's all, all a bonus. And you have, you, you obviously wouldn't have any problems in terms of wanting to work horses with people over in the current all there's usually, you could always jump in with anybody as well, could you? There's plenty, there's Sandra Hughes and Robbie McNamara and Conor Dwyer and Martin Braz and plenty of them, so... If you ever have one half decent, you get a bit of alignment, and hopefully we, we might get a couple of half decent ones. So you have room for a couple more there if anybody's looking for one to, to be broken or pre-trained? Always room there, yeah, always room. Well, that's good. Well, listen, Ian, best of luck with it. Um, it's a fabulous, fabulous place you're, you have set up, and what else you have planned for it, and uh, best of luck with that, and, but more importantly, best of luck for the rest of the season with winners. Thanks, David.